How to make a taxi booking website in WordPress. In this video, we're going to be talking about WordPress and how you can use it to make an incredible looking taxi booking website in the easiest and most simplest way. So I'm going to be showing you how you can go through with the editing as well as what plugins would you need to use when it comes to making a taxi booking website. Okay, we're going to be doing it all in WordPress and I'm going to be taking you through the whole procedure on how you're going to want to do it. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Now to start things off, what you are going to be doing is you are going to go over to your WordPress. Okay. Here, as you can see, and you're going to, first of all, make sure that you have the upgraded business plan. Okay. So you can come over to here where it says upgrades. And here, as you can see, I have the business plan currently. Now, without the business plan, you will not be able to, you know, do the steps that I'm about to show you because the business plan provides us with WooCommerce and it also allows us to download plugins and extensions and a whole lot more. So this is the plan that we're going to be using now to, you know, get further on with the video. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to first of all take you to the plugins and I'm going to tell you what plugins do you actually need. So you need two of total plugins. OK, so the first plugin that we need is called Elementor. Now, the reason we need Elementor is because Elementor is WordPress's very own website builder and it creates the most incredible and amazing looking websites totally for free. So we're going to come over to this Elementor website builder widget and plugin. And, you know, it's a basic drag and drop editor. So we're going to go ahead and install it. So I'm going to go ahead, click on continue. And as you can see, it takes us through installing of the plugin. So it's going to be installed in a few seconds. Shouldn't take uh, a lot of time. So just simply wait for it to go through with it. And once the setup is done and good to go, you should get a prompt that, hey, your plugin is installed. Now, obviously, after the Elementor plugin, we're going to be no looking for a booking plugin. OK, and specifically, we're going to be looking for a taxi booking plugin. Now, you probably might be thinking that, you know, there might not be an exact plugin, you know, for taxis. But trust me there is. So once Elementor is done and good to go, we're going to move over back to plugins. And once we go over back to plugins, we're going to go to the new plugins. So if you want to go over to adding new plugins, what we are going to want to do is we're going to go over to the plugin space over here. Okay. And once you are over here, you're going to go to add new plugin again. And once we're in add new plugin again, we're simply going to wait for things to load in. And once this is done, you're going to come here and you're going to go ahead and write taxi. Now, once you write taxi here, it's going to give you a lot of different plugins. So we have WP taxi, me taxi booking taxonomy taxi, uh, and a whole lot more. So there's tons and tons of bookings over here, but in my opinion, the best two that work, you know, the best way that WooCommerce are either taxi booking manager or WP Write booking. Now taxi booking manager is you know a five star rated one and quite a few users in my opinion have told me that this does work pretty incredibly wp ride booking although is an og classic okay it's an ultimate taxi booking plugin for wordpress so what you can do is you can open both of these and you can see which one works better for you so you know you can book an ecab and taxi search nearest taxi and ecabs press site on you know distance and duration with a little responsive design you know, it's a dynamic WordPress taxi booking plugin that enhances your website's functionality to leverage your taxi booking business potential. It allows you to create a fully functional taxi booking system, providing with you with convenient ways to, you know, uh, get customers to book rights online. Then moving on, the key features are that the interface is super friendly. Flexible booking options are provided to the customers. You get fair calculations, you know, proper distance and time facing with custom criteria. You get customizable rates where you can set up custom rate plans. You get multiple payment gateways, booking management, Google Maps API, responsive design, email customization. You get a customized checkout and there there's a lot of wait time options as well. Now, this although is free, but it also has a pro plan. OK, WP Write Booking, on the other hand, 
is a pretty basic streamlined taxi and cab booking for WordPress. You get PayPal email ID, which can easily configure your PayPal email address to accept secure online payments from customers. You get a Google Map API key where you can integrate Google Maps for accurate route calculation and real-time navigation, rates per kilometer, get route button text, Google Map height, currency selection, color customization, and a whole lot more. So pretty incredible and, uh, you know, another good application, but preferably for me, the taxi booking manager for WooCommerce would work better for me. So I'm going to go ahead and install and activate this. So again, it goes ahead and sets everything up, activates the plugin for me. So I'm simply going to wait for, you know, the proper installation to go through. And once this is done, obviously I'm going to go ahead and start working with it in more retrospect and detail. Now, once the stacking and building blocks are done, what moreover you can do is you can get a more clear cut idea of how, you know, WordPress basically collaborates the ECAP taxi with your WooCommerce. And the best part about Taxi Booking Manager is that it actually gives you the proper Google API key. And the Google API key basically allows you or allows the ECAB to calculate our route, properly calculate our destination, you know, how much distance is uh, provided in the distance that the person needs to go. And uh, obviously, according to that distance, it will calculate a proper fare for that route and, you know, give you a pretty decent fare for each ride. And even for the customers, it's not going to be too cheap. It's not going to be too expensive. So they're going to know that, okay, they've come to the right place for any cab or any taxi. And the best part about these plugins is that these plugins basically take the knowledge from all the other taxi systems out there. And, you know, according to your location, just give you the best taxi, you know, regimen for the distance. So once this basically completes downloading, I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can manage its settings. And, you know, whilst managing the settings, I'm also going to show you how you can basically integrate it with your Elementor and make it into an actually decent looking website page with proper economics going into your web page. So let's just wait for it to download and carry further on. Now, once it's downloaded here, it says your site is more powerful than ever. All set, time to put your new plugin to work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head back over to the plugins. And once I'm here in my plugin section, what we can do is we can go over to our installed plugins. And in your installed plugins, what you can do is you can actually get a main idea of the system. Now, obviously this is what it's gonna, you know, look like once you've downloaded it, it's gonna be called transportation in your WordPress bar. So over here, it says transportation booking manager for WooCommerce plugin. Obviously you're gonna need to install and activate it. Once it's installed and activated, it's gonna take you to its general settings that you're gonna set up for yourself, okay? It's uh, already installed and activated, so we come over to the general. Now here it says, you must go ahead and get the Google API key for ECAP Taxi Booking Manager because it is dependent on the Google Map. So to get the Google API key, you're gonna click on their link and what's gonna be happening is it's gonna take us to the global settings where it's gonna take us to the Google Map API settings. Now, in the Google Map API settings, you're gonna come right over here and here it's gonna ask you to get the Google API key. So I'm gonna go over to this link where it's gonna take us to the JavaScript API key section of Google itself. It's gonna take us to the proper developed Google page and we're gonna pick off the API from that section. So let's just use the API keys that Google gave us and you can basically add it into your section. Now, here's the API key. You can uh, get the script and uh, to obviously get the main API keys for yourself, you're going to go ahead and create it through these steps. So it says go to the Google Maps platform, go to the credentials page and get the API key. So I'm going to go over to the Google Maps credential page over here. And in the Google Maps credential, obviously, we're going to take the free API that Google Cloud Console basically provides us. So let's just wait for things to load in over here. And as things are loaded in, we're going to go ahead, get our API and, you know, you can get it in keys and credentials pretty easily. Now over here to get the API, what you're going to need to do is first of all, you're going to click on create project. Once you click on create project, you're going to call this anything you want. I'm going to call it WordPress Transport API. 
okay? You can set an organization for it. I'm going to skip that and click on create. Once we do this, it's going to basically create our project for us for our API keys. And once our project is created, what you can do is you can basically use that API key in whatever way you require. So as you can see, it is now loading in and you can see how much I'm actually going through with the API key setting because the API is really important for your maps. So once this is done, you're going to go ahead, click on finish. And once we click on finish, it's going to obviously take you through to the billings and everything where you're going to want to make sure that, you know, your billing account is set properly because proper billing needs to be done for API keys. So once you've created a project and everything and you have set the proper billing flow, we are going to come over to this section. You're going to click on continue. And once we, you know, set up our billing profile and create a new account, we can easily access the, you know, API key for ourselves. Now, basically, if you want to get the APIs, you know, directly in the straight away, just come over to the enabled API services. It's going to bring you to the API dashboard. And uh, obviously, you can switch this uh, API project that you currently have. Like, let's say I have these projects up over here. All right. So I'm going to go over to my first project. And in my first project, when we switch over, we're simply going to wait for the API to load in. Now, once we are over here, you can go over to credentials and in credentials here, you can see it says maps API key. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on show key and here's my API key straight away. Now, this key is unrestricted. So to prevent unauthorized use, you can restrict it. But, uh, you know, I don't really have an issue with that. So I'm going to copy that up paste it over here and I'm going to click on save changes. So obviously it's going to verify the API key and if the API key is straightforward and it is correct, it's going to basically save that for itself and that's going to set the Google Maps API key straight away. Now, once the API key is good to go and set up, you can finally go over to the transportation services and here we are. Now over here, what we can do is we have a lot of cars, you know, BMW 5 Series, Cadillac, Hummer, Cadillac, Ford, Mercedes-Benz, E220, Fiat, and a whole lot more. Now, to, you know, actually get into how you're going to add transportations in this, first of all, what you're going to do is you're going to click on Add New Transportation. Now, once you click on Add New Transportation, it's going to bring you here. And first of all, we're going to name it. So I'm going to go ahead and add a vehicle. So I'm going to write Honda Civic. Uh, RS Turbo. Once you do that, what you're going to be doing is you're going to give the general info. So maximum passengers, let's go with four. Okay. Maximum bags, let's go with six. Then we have on and off feature, extra feature. Okay. So it's a default slider where you can turn on extra features. Then we have icons and images, which, uh, you know, basically looks good enough. So name, we're going to add Civic, All right? Honda Civic. And we have the model, uh, let's say 2021 engine uh, to JZ. Okay, I'm going to write that in. Then fuel type, I'm going to go ahead and write um, gasoline. Okay, now once we go ahead and write that in, we're going to switch over to date. Then we have general date configuration. So date type, I'm going to keep it repeated. Let's say I'm going to keep it Friday 16th, August 2024. Repeat it after every one day. Then we have maximum advanced day booking, which can, you know, be up to two months. So you can even book before two months. You can decrease this if you want to, but I'm going to keep it at this because it's pretty default. Then there's the timings on what timings is this car available. And once we have done that, we move over to the pricing. So the initial price that will be added as the starting price. So the starting price, let's say I'm going to go with $20. Minimum price, let's go ahead with 10. And we have waiting time price per hour. So I'm going to go with five on this. And price is going to be based on either distance as Google Map, duration or time as Google Map, distance plus duration as Google Map, or manually fixed as location. So I'm going to go distance plus duration as Google Map. So price per kilometer, uh, let's say I'm going to go with $5 or let's go with $2 per kilometer price per hour. Again, I'm going to go with $5 per hour. Then we move over to extra service. So, you know, 
you can uh, get predefined extra services or you can add custom services. So these are predefined like child seed, bouquet of flowers, welcome drink, airport assistance, bodyguard service. And, uh, you know, you can add it as an input box, which is good enough. And once all of this is done, you're going to click on publish. And this basically publishes the car for you. This publishes the transport. And now you have a whole new transport in your taxi services. Okay, so just like this, you can go ahead and add as many transportations as you want. And uh, you're going to see that, you know, among the BMW and Mercedes, we now have the Honda Civic RS Turbo. Obviously, currently, they don't have any stars because I haven't really added up anything to it. But this is basically how it's done. Then we move over to the locations. So this basically tells on how many locations you can go. So let's say I'm going to go ahead and write Manhattan. And slug is basically the URL for any version of the name. It is usually all lowercase and contains only letters and numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and write Manhattan 76. So this is basically the URL. And once this is done, simply click on add new location. And now we have a new location in our repertoire. Then moving on, there's also this quick setup section. Now the quick setup basically allows you to, you know, set everything up for your transportation label. And uh, because I am pretty much, you know, already set it up, I don't really need to go through with this. You should do this before starting everything off. Then we move over to status. Now, what is status? Status is basically where it shows you what version it is. So WordPress version 6.6.1, WooCommerce installed, yes. WooCommerce version 9.2.3, name of the store is Advanced Apparel. Here's your email, and that is pretty much about it. That's the status that it gives you. You can also move over to your global settings and, uh, you know, tweak things here and there. So if you want to block the Gutenberg editor off of this, you can do that. But if you want the Gutenberg editor, you can turn this off to no. And we have the date picker format, short date format, transportation by miles or kilometers. You can set all of these things up by yourself. Now, once you have gone through with this, how do we actually add it in our store? For that, what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to go over to checkout field. So in checkout field, first of all, we have checkout settings. Now in checkout settings, we have hide order additional information section, hide order review section. So you can turn this on and off. And we have billing fields where you can, you know, actually turn on and off your billing fields if you want to, shipping fields, order fields, and so on. But obviously, to implement it into your page, you're going to go over to your Elementor. Once we come to our Elementor, what we're going to do over here is we're going to click on create a page. Now, what this does is it brings us to our Elementor editor where you can actually add your taxi booking services into the Elementor section. OK, you can actually edit it and you can add different components and different elements of the taxi booking service into your Elementor in the easiest and most simplest way. So once Elementor loads in as so, we're going to go ahead and skip everything. And over here, what you can do is you can actually get the widgets for the different website related uh, artifacts that you have. So obviously we need something for our WooCommerce or our WordPress. So let's say I'm going to write here taxi or you can write in booking. So you can actually write taxi booking in this section and add those individual elements in this theme. And yeah, that is basically about it. That is how you can go ahead and, you know, have a whole taxi booking section in your WooCommerce and, you know, keep your taxi booking business up and running. So that is pretty much all there is for this video. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making a whole lot more for you. Till then, that is all from me. Thank you for watching all the way till the end. Like, subscribe, and I'll be seeing all of you wonderful people in the very next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.